Hi, my name is Steve Cressall. I'm with Steam Action Supply in Sandy, Utah. And we've got a machine that we've rebuilt here. Uh, Steamway 9100LX. And I just want uh, Kelly to go through the machine with you and explain all of the changes that were made to it. Uh, we basically rebuilt it and did some of our own rewiring and we came up with a very unique um, heat source heat exchange system and we'll turn it over to Kelly Hi, I'm Kelly McCoy, the lead mechanic at Steam Action Supply and uh, today I'm going to show you a piece of used equipment that we specialize in, in uh, rebuilding and putting out on the market for uh, startup businesses and uh, additions to existing businesses. Uh, we also have a uh, new type of heat exchange system we're going to introduce to you. And uh, here we are. One of the first things that we did was we replaced the Kawasaki water-cooled engine with a Vanguard 23 horsepower V-twin. Uh, one horsepower up from the Kawasaki and we were able to relocate the engine far enough over to the right to attain two belt sizes on the three belt drive system that the LX9100 had to begin with. We remanufactured the mounting bracket for the pump to sit on uh, because it was different from the uh, Kawasaki engine that originally was on here. Um, we left the clutch that came with it and we replaced the high temperature seals in the head of the pump. We simplified the wiring, taking out these two relays here. We didn't think that a carpet cleaning machine would actually needed something like that. And we redid the wiring to a simpler type of wiring where relays weren't needed, including a fuse block that can be added to. We added a grease block that you can remotely use to grease your blower, the blower on this happens to be a 405 and climbing into the van sometimes is really a pain in the butt so having a remote grease block out here is a little more convenient that we build into it. We chose to utilize the stock heat exchanger uh, because the heat exchangers were good and already in place. Um, the diverter valve has been adjusted up so that it totally closes. Um, we also uh, replumbed it with um, new hoses. Um, we had to uh, remanufacture the exhaust. And of course, you can see that it's wrapped with our special brand of heat protecting tape. Here's some of the features that we added. We've done a little research and we found that air-cooled engines actually run a lot hotter on the temperatures of their crankcase. In other words, the oil temperature is between three and 400 degrees. So we did away with not only the Kawasaki engine, but the liquid-cooled heat exchanger that it also had. And we substituted this one here that uh, heats the water for the system, but it also incorporates the engine oil to heat the water. This, ins this ensures that engine life is raised and it also gives you a better heat source than coolant. Let me just go over uh, the control panel with you a little bit. Um, we chose to leave the Briggs and Stratton wiring basically the same as it came off the engine. All we did is relocate the key from here to here. Um, added a uh, kill switch wire and we took um, battery power off of, off of the starter motor um, so that we run the, the machine's electric separate from the engine. So that in case you ever have to have a Briggs and Spratt Stratton mechanic look at it, there is not a lot of confusing wiring to throw them off on any repairs. We used a complete, unique, completely unique heating control system for this unit. Um, it's completely controllable by the technician. Um, during uh, machine startup, there's a knob here on the front that takes the place of a fixed orifice. That's a manually adjusted orifice. 
Um, you can uh, allow your heat machine to heat up by uh, making the valve open farther, circulating the water quicker to the water box, heating the machine up faster. We also have a position for running, rear average carpet cleaning um, would usually be done in keeping the heat at a regulated pace. Or you can turn it completely off to ensure total heat coming to the wand. Of course in doing that you do realize that you are can't set your wand down. But it is controllable all the way out to an open position where you can also put turn the valve shut and take care of any debris that might be lodged inside of the valve. We built se several safety features into this machine. Um, one of them is that the diverter valves do not come on unless the water pump switch is on. And the thermostat control is from the off position to setting the desired temperature. Um, with, if you're doing blood extraction, you turn off the thermostat to zero, turn off the water pump, and your heat exchange system is completely bypassed. Other than the passive heating of the oil cooler and the uh, blower exhaust. We relocated the uh, thermal relief valve um, to the rear of the water box and uh, it has a tube that goes to the waste tank. Um, that's just in case that the uh, water box should overheat at any time. It's a uh, built-in protection to keep your uh, machine running safe without any problems. We uh, removed all of the uh, brass blocks and uh, wiring and plumbing that went underneath there um, that used to be damaged when these belts would break. Um, relocated it up here to the front of the machine where we built this little manifold that can be conveniently removed. And if you have a bell failure of any kind, it doesn't tear up your thermostat and the wiring and the hoses. And plus this way everything's easy to service. Like the Kalasaki was. Nice and smooth.